Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about foot birthday again today because we had this loading screen come up in FIFA Ultimate Team. I don't know why it's so fast. Literally, I never log into, fat, into foot this, this quickly and this fast for the screen to go away, but we're gonna talk about this loading screen, what it means, kind of go through it, and then also talk about some of, you know, maybe a little bit of a prediction on some of the cards we could see but basically today they gave us some information on what this promo is going to be about. And that's important because we can kind of, you know, start to theorize and start to think about the things uh, that we will see in this promo. As well as what we saw today was the, um, we also saw a new Team of the League Moments squad come out into packs as well. So first things first, let's talk about this loading screen. What do we have different from yesterday when they first released this? Of course, we have this Morse code right here, which is really interesting because EA knows that we're going to figure out some of this stuff. And I feel like that was an easier one because you could probably translate Morse code pretty easily on like a website or something. I don't know how to do it myself, but that is basically Morse code for it. It literally translates into W F or S M. I think it's so basically weak foot or skill move. So basically we in years past, we've had like, you know, um, Beast and overpowered cards from previous FIFAs. That's been the thing that people have, that they've based this promo off of. Last year it was a position change promo. Well, we've already had a position change. So people are like, this year what's going to happen? Here's our answer. They're going to be doing, it looks like, weak foot and skill move upgrades to cards on foot, which this is interesting because they did a little bit of that with shape shifters, I think. Um, they did a little bit of that, but not much. And of course, they did a little bit of that with winter refresh as well, that when they upgraded cards, for their skill moves and for their, their position, for their weak foots. Like Roberto Firmino started out with four star skills and now he has five, stuff like that. I think that's what this promo is gonna be based off of, but it is foot birthday, so it's still gonna be pretty hype. But again, we can kind of base it around the uh, skill moves and weak foot upgrades, I guess. And I have some theories about that, but these, uh, these, these letters and numbers that you see kind of around as well, there's actually uh, behind my face cam, there's another number, it's like 51.0382. Basically what this is, is when you, it's coordinates and they've done this in, in loading screens before. These coordinates actually show you or take you to the Bayer Leverkusen Stadium, I think, somewhere in Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, so we're basically confirmed to get one Bayer Leverkusen player in this promo. Now, we kind of predicted this is what's gonna happen with the loading screens. Two days ago, I said, hey, expect a loading screen on Tuesday, then another one on Wednesday, then another one on Thursday. So today is Thursday, right? Good luck with your weekend league rewards if you have them. We'll talk about that kind of stuff at the end of the video because this video will be going live pre-weekend league rewards. Maybe some last minute Thursday flipping investments. But um, these this basically these loading screens and these numbers, they point to one thing and that is Bayer Leverkusen. And that is Mr. Havertz. That is Mr. Havertz. I think that what EA is going to do with this promo is this Havertz card had a five-star week for last year. If we go look at generations and, and look at Havertz, this card was the one that really put him on the map last year. This five-star week foot, four-star skills, and he had the, the foot future stars card. This was the one that really, really put him on the map. I know we had this one, which is not bad. This inform was great, but this future stars was big for him and really you know, brought him to the forefront as a player in FIFA Ultimate Team that a lot of people knew. He had a phenomenal uh, year last year in real life as well. But this is the player that I think we're going to get from uh, Bayer Leverkusen. And, and this makes me think, right, this year, for ba basically no reason, I don't know why you would down downgrade his weak foot. This year, Havertz is four-star, four-star. Last year, he was four-star, five-star. So, are they literally just going to give him the one star weak foot upgrade and call it a promo? And so basically what they're doing is, is they're knocking stats at the beginning of the game, which they're going to plan to upgrade later on in the game. That would be like a super EA thing to do to try to make a promo out of something that they've just toned down anyway to begin with. Does that make sense? Same thing with Suarez. I think Suarez would be somebody who could very likely get in this promo as well. He has one inform all year, not a lot of special cards, and he got docked uh, the skill moves. Last year in FIFA 19, he was a four-star, four-star player. If you remember this reward of the final Suarez, never mind, three-star skills, four-star weak foot. Really? You serious? Maybe it was FIFA 18 then. Was it FIFA 18? FIFA 18, he was four-star, four-star. So Suarez could be 
another one of those guys that gets upgraded back to the four star skills. And especially if they give him a special card, he would be over 80 pace. He could be maybe close to 90 dribbling. So of course we don't have a lot of Suarez special cards this year. This would be the perfect opportunity for EA to drop one of those. One other person I do think could get in is Di Maria. The two star weak foot. I feel like we're gonna see you know, a couple different players in this in this squad of the foot birthday team, they're, they're going to have like two star weak foots and they're going to upgrade them to four. And that's going to be massive, right? Even if a guy like Salah gets a four star weak foot, that would be crazy. So kind of be on the lookout. Inaki Williams, I was kind of hoping, uh, once I saw the promo like idea that was dropping today, I was kind of hoping that this guy would get in the promo team. It doesn't look like he will because he's getting a, he just got a team of the week moments, right? Two-star weak foot, though. Imagine this guy with an upgrade to a four-star weak foot, how much more playable in-game he would be. And we'll talk about these Team of the Week moment cards here in a second in foot as well. But that's basically what the promo is going to be based around, skill move and weak foot upgrades. And you might think like, okay, come on, man. Is a skill move and a weak foot upgrade promo actually going to be that good? Is it going to be hype? I think it will be. I mean, think of all the players in foot that if you just gave them a, an extra star on the on the foot or on the skill moves would be actually really insane. Griezmann with a four star weak foot, high, high work rates. If you, if you were able to use this guy in the box as a striker, maybe who's, who knows, they could do some position changes with this promo as well. Basically, it seems like this is another reason for them to just be able to, to, to modify cards. But if you imagine this guy with like a four star weak foot, that would change him, man. Especially if you gave him a striker card, maybe boosted his pace a little bit, maybe like an 86 pace Griezmann with 90 shooting. Uh, he's already got over 90 finishing. He'd be a great center attacking mid uh, that you could position back down, but the four-star weak foot would be massive for a card like Griezmann. I know I mentioned Salah. Honestly, boys, the, the options are endless here, and I'm excited to see what EA does want to choose, um, but I also just don't want this to be a promo of them putting in players that they've already decreased skill moves or weak foots for from past FIFAs. Kind of like I talked about with the Havertz. Since Havertz right now has a four-star weak foot in this game, um, but last year he had a five-star weak foot, if they're basically just making a promo that is based off of uh, them increasing skill moves and weak foot back to where they were in previous years, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. Why, why knock them in the first place if they're really not deserving of it, I guess? is my biggest question, um, but we'll find out. We will see because this stuff should be coming out. I bet we get a car design today. That's oftentimes what we see uh, in foots on Thursdays is when we get the loading screen for Thursday, we get the car design. So I do think that we will see a car design for foot birthday because right now we don't have an official one as we speak. But I do think that we will see that today as a part of FIFA Ultimate Team. And then I also want to talk about Team of the Week moments. I mean, that's all that we can talk about regarding the foot birthday, at least in my opinion right now. We can kind of theorize on what cards are going to come out based on the loading screen. And we can kind of theorize on who could be a part of the team. And maybe, you know, you know what the next loading screen will look like. But I think today on Thursday, we'll get a new loading screen. They will update it. Today, they waited like a half an hour or so to update that. Um... So I would assume that it's probably going to be around the same time frame for um, for Thursday. They might update it after 6 p.m. UK, uh, a couple hours after. Just something to think about when you're looking for that new loading screen. But this is Team of the Week moments number two. And this is based off of FIFA 19. I think this might be based off of FIFA 19. I'm not entirely sure where this Team League is from. It's got to be FIFA 19. Yeah, it's definitely FIFA 19 because this uh, Pepe card, he got informs in FIFA 19. But anyways, I said FIFA 19 like five times right there. This is the new Team of the Week Moments 2 squad, right? This is more like a Team of the Week in my opinion. Thank you EA for choosing this one. Not bad. A lot of these guys already have special cards that are higher rated than their current one. Well, at least two that I see here. Lucas has the Shapeshifter and Kingsley Coleman has the 88 rated Road to the Final card. Now that is no longer live. But these are cool cards, right? Inaki Williams is cool. They gave him a really, really nice uh, passing boost. I know he's only, he's a striker, but a plus five passing boost makes his card just look a whole lot better. Um, and uh, so that's really nice to get that one. We had a KDB, and they had some big time market movements today with some live items in foots with nine Golan and Nicolas Pepe. And I want to talk to you guys about these cards right now especially because we are entering the weekend league rewards time period. Now this card was 300, uh, 290, 318K, 
past two days. He has now boomed up to 400,000 coins. People knew about this Team of the Week Moments uh, squad before it actually came out. You can see his rise from last night. He was 325. Right on the release, he went up to 426, kind of came back down at 370, and is now back up to 400. But, uh, yeah, there was some leaks situation going on there. But this new 9 goal one looks absolutely incredible, uh, as he is Hullet Gang. So that's a pretty crazy looking card. But I want to talk about these cards again, the Team of the Week Moments squad. I want to talk to you about these cards because last week, last week, these cards from Team of the Week Moments set number one, Got really low rewards and they rebounded afterwards. Now I know we have a promo coming this weekend, but if there are anybody, if there's anybody in this team that gets too low tonight and especially gets hit with a lot of rewards and supply, I'm gonna start getting interested. My A1, my number one prospect, is going to be Kingsley Kingsley Coman. This guy's a hundred thousand coins right now. If for some reason during rewards this guy dips to like too far back under a hundred K. I honestly think that will be too cheap. I know he's only got a three-star weak foot. He's already he's been down to 99k as well. But if I saw this guy back down at like maybe like 80k or at 75k, a lot of times these cards get packed a bunch at rewards and they rise back up. For an example, for an example, last week, Team of the Week moments number one. This is another like version of Thursday flipping that you can do with actual cards that are in packs. This Gareth Bale last week, who's actually kind of low right now, 373, not bad. Um, he was 320 K on Thursday for award or on yeah Thursday for awards last week. He was 315, 320 K for a couple hours after all the packs came out and he rose sharply to like 383 90 on Friday. Now I know again that we have a promo, but that's something you can take a look out for and you can watch today because these cards in this team of the week are very usable. There's a lot of people that are playing FIFA right now. There are a lot of people that are on this game. If you go and look at the market, I've been watching like Bruno Fernandez today because I, I wanted to see if Bruno Fernandez would drop it all with the new KDB coming out. Spoiler alert, he hasn't because they're kind of, they're in very different price ranges. Um, but I've seen so many people today, the competition for like undercuts and stuff on the market is very, very high. And that tells me that a lot of people are buying cards right now. A lot of people are in this game. They're intrigued. They're playing FIFA. And that is interesting to me. That honestly is pretty interesting to me that we have a lot of people trading right now. Scares me a little bit for Thursday flipping because I know that that means there's probably more people in buying cards and more people investing. Uh, so if you're doing some last minute Thursday flips right now or pre rewards investing, take a look on the market and really look for some cards uh, that are other specials that maybe not a lot of people are looking at. I'm really watching this Inaki Williams. There we go. 130K. He got another, of course, Inaki Williams got another in for him today, right? He got the 86 rated team of the week moments. And this man of the match card really didn't drop at all. Right now, Inaki Williams is 255,000 coins. According to Footbin, he was 240. And now he's, he was risen back up to 287 um, from where he initially came into packs. I would keep an eye on this Inaki Williams man of the match card because, uh, all right, let's say that tonight during rewards, the new Inaki Williams, let's say he goes down to like 200,000 coins, right? Maybe during rewards, he drops 50K at the most, and this guy goes back to 200,000 coins, right? Is that is that realistic? It's not far off. It's it's really not that far off. That's a kind of a little bit of an undercut right there, 255. But let's say this guy goes to just around 200K. This guy, if he's down to like 120, I think there is some potential to rise because he was a 140, 150K card uh, earlier this week. And I can show you the graph right now, the 84. But this happens a lot of the time when a, let's say somebody had a, a previous team of the week or somebody had uh, a, a special card earlier on in foot and uh, they get another inform, right? So this Inaki Williams was 152 this past weekend. He was 139 today, but he's been dropping most of the day. You can kind of tell he's been, he's been slowing off. If I see him at like 125, that's kind of my big time buy price and I'm going to be watching him. But I think he could easily go back up to 150 this weekend and be kind of unfazed because especially if there's a big price difference, which this one here isn't that big. But when you have a big price difference between somebody who um, has had an inform in the past and they get another inform, a lot of times what you see is that lower tier inform will actually rise because it just brings hype to that player, especially if they're usable. And this Anaki Williams is a very, very usable card. So 
Um, I don't know if this one's going to do as well as I would have originally liked it to because he hasn't dropped as much, but that's a little trading tip that you can kind of watch for when they do put new special cards into this game. You know, it's kind of like a panic sell on um, the old version of that card, but just watch for open bids tonight again on a lot of stuff. That's what I do on nights like tonight. I go out and I just hawk around on open bids. You guys, I talked to you last night about some stuff to buy in my Thursday, flip, Thursday flipping video. Again, just be very careful with that stuff because we are in the territory of a birthday and a lot of people are preparing for a birthday and there's a lot of people on this game. I don't know how many people are going to be saving their awards, how many will be opening. Again, I do expect a little bit of a market rise. Wait, what? 277. Are there any other suns out here? Is that the only sun that's under 300,000 coins right now? It is a team of the year moments card. Is that the only one that's under 300k? I don't see any other ones. Really? Is that a good buy, man? Should I be buying that right now? 299. 293. I think I should be buying that card right now, boys. 2, 301, 277. You know what? Full send it. Let's do this thing, bro. Let's do that. That should be over 300,000 coins tomorrow during rewards. And that's uh, that's some nice profit right there. I will take that. And look at that. A last minute Thursday flip has been found. So be on the market looking for stuff tonight if you are looking for some of those. And I would say get liquid ahead of the new promo that is coming this weekend with Foot Birthday. Get liquid for the promo because a lot of people are going to get ready for this. There's a lot of people on the game. That means a lot of people are going to be preparing. And a lot of people are going to be ready to open their saved packs which is the last thing i want to talk about and we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow as well um, before the promo if we get any more information but tons and tons of people are saving packs and that means there's going to be massive massive pack supply in that first hour or hour and a half of foot birthday we're going to have lightning rounds we're going to have um people's opening up their saved packs so that's going to be a big big talking point for me tomorrow as i do think if you want to buy any of the the new foot birthday cards it actually might be the best time to buy uh in the first hour to hour and a half and i'll talk about that again more tomorrow last thing i want to talk about to end the video today some ea blunders as you could see here first of all remember i, I think i, I might have told you with this 82 plus players pack there was a 282 plus players pack added to the code that has uh, been moved to, and it is now a 283 plus player pack. So whatever you will from that, uh, that could be an interesting upgrade. If they make it cheap enough, that could be an interesting upgrade to kind of mess around with. But this is what I wanted to talk about today. So FIFA direct communication uh, tweets out, Hey everyone, foot match creation has been temporarily disabled while we investigate a connectivity issue. Stay issued to this thread or stay tuned to this thread for more updates. Four hours ago from now, that was tweeted. Literally yeah, 30 minutes ago, they responded to this. So three and a half hours later, they say match creation has been re-enabled. Thank you for your patience. And supposedly there was some, some ping issues with the servers on foot and stuff like that. Um, and then I saw a picture on Twitter right after they updated this that matchmaking was, you know, the issues were still there. But, but this is the thing I find really funny about that, boys. The thing that I find kind of amusing and kind of funny about this is I didn't see a single person rising any hate or adding EA, at least on Twitter from people that I follow. I didn't see anybody worried about getting into a game in the middle of the week. And that just goes to show you how many people are playing this game midweek. It's literally nobody. This game is a weekend game only. Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those are the That's the time when people are on this game because of their rewards and foot champions because everything in this game is literally focused around promos and foot champs on the weekends. And there's nothing really to do in the middle of the week. There's really not that much to do for the mass player base during the week. And I just thought that was funny today that there's that everybody's playing Warzone right now, right? Not during the week. You're not going to grind foot ch like division rivals during the week. No, like, am I going to play to get rank two tonight? Absolutely not. How close am I? Not even close. Good. I'm glad. There's no way I'm going to play up to get that tonight. So, I wanted to just point that out to you guys because I thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, that's the state of this game right now. It's a weekend game, weekend promo. We're getting one this weekend. I'm kind of excited about it. We'll have a big video tomorrow outlining whatever info we get tomorrow about this new promo and then we will be set for a big time friday on fifa ultimate team if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out